Hey, what's up, guys? Craft Farms here, and welcome back to another video. So, we are sitting here in the 7130 with our sprayer here at field 76. Um, we're gonna go ahead and get going on some spraying here. We're going to be spraying fertilizer on our corn ground uh, today, so. So let's go ahead and get at it. <clears throat> As we have 74 and 76 to spray with fertilizer. And then we have to go back and spray our wheat, soybean, and sunflower fields with herbicide. So, we're going to try and get as much done today as we can. wish we could go a little bit faster with this sprayer, but unfortunately we can't. <clears throat> but at least we're finally done with all of our um, planting for the year. I don't have to worry about any more of that anymore. that planting was taking forever I'm starting to get really really old So we can just kind of pick this all up. Should have maybe got uh, GPS on this tractor too, but we didn't. We're slowly getting everything done that we need to get done. Spraying our herbicide shouldn't take too terribly long. I mean, all of the spraying that we have left shouldn't take too terribly long to do. 74 might take us just a little bit to get done, but that one shouldn't be too bad either. 74 is definitely one of our larger fields. I think 74, um, 57, and 56 are our three biggest fields that we've got. We should only have maybe two, three more passes, something like that, on this to get it done, and then we'll be out of this field on a 74.
So not sure if uh, y'all joined my stream earlier this week or not, um, but I'm probably gonna be doing a video on the couple on a couple of the projects that I got going right now. Uh, one of them being my Wheatland Farms map. Uh, I probably mentioned it um, before, but uh, I don't believe that I've done a video on it yet. But I will do a video on it to kind of show you guys the progress of it so far, and then we'll maybe do some work on it or something. Um, and then I just started work on a 1978 Ford F-150 model. Uh, it's something I bought from Turbo Squid a long time ago. Um, but I just never, I never did anything with it because I think I bought it. Um, some of you guys might remember me working on a 2014 GMC Sierra model that I bought from Turbo Squid um, a while back. I actually bought the 78 at the same time that I bought that 2014. I just never did any work with the uh, 78. And then I've also got a 80s model Ford, I think. Um, I had two Ford model trucks and then I had that 2014 GMC, which I downloaded the 2014 GMC model again um, off my Turbo Squid account. And then I downloaded the 78 and the I want to say it's like an 83 Ford, uh, that other one, but I'm not too sure. Um, <clears throat> but I started work on that. Uh, everything's separated out. Um, all I got to do is just figure out how to do the UDIM textures now in 19. And then just bake the textures. Um... You know, get those baked up, and then convert it over to Giants Editor, or you know, export it out of Blender and get it in Giants Editor, and uh, she'll be ready for some scripting. Um, I'll probably just kind of start off, just get it in game, and then I'll probably go back and I'll add, you know, just do a basic in game, where basically it's buyable and you can drive it. And then I'll go back, I'll get the dirt added, I'll get the wear added to it, um, get the lights added into it as well. You know, just want to get a basic in-game and then I'll go back and add all the other detail stuff. Um, but, uh, so we got that 78, uh, the 80s, that one will be a quick work in Blender as well. Um, because it was pretty quick and easy to work on the 78 because really all I had to do was separate the tires off, uh, the wheels and tires off, separate the windows, and then separate the, um, yeah, separate the wheels and tires, center them, so that way once you put it in Giants Editor and script it and stuff, they rotate correctly and not stupidly. Um, separate the windows off, and then, oh, and I also separated the license plates off, because I'm going to put custom license plates on it, and, uh, that was about it, so, you know, basically I've got the body, I've got the windows, I've got the license plates, and then I've got the, um, wheels, so, I just got to get everything textured up, and... Uh, then I can put it over into Giants Editor and hopefully get some script work done on it. But uh, I just, I've never done the UDIM. Uh, this pickup's the first mod I've worked on for 19, so I'm still, you know, getting the hang of the 19 scripting. Um, I just, you know, the main reason that I haven't done any mods for 19 yet is because I figured there was no point when, you know, FS21 was going to be coming out, but. Now that they're not coming out with it, figured might as well do a map, work on some mods, all that stuff, so. And uh, I was looking at some models on Turbo Squid that I have saved in my bookmarks on my laptop. And um, I saw, you know, I had logged into my Turbo Squid account for some reason, I don't remember why now, but I logged into it and then I seen that. Uh, that there was some models on there. I was like, oh, okay, you know, let's check those out. Looked at them. I'm like, oh, let's download these three. So 
Um, you know, I had done that 2014 GMC. I had worked on it once for, I believe it was for 15. Um, I think it was either 15 or 17 that I started working on that model for. But I just never, never finished the model and never got it in game or anything. You know, like most of my old projects that I had worked on, so. But because I know somebody's going to ask, no, anything that I work on, mod, map, whatever, uh, it is not going to be public. It will remain private. Um, I have no desire to release any of my stuff. Um, so, I'm not going to. Um, simple as that. Plus, with the Turbo Squid model, you really can't because it is a copyrighted model. So, I'm not going to release that anyways even if I did release you know, or did want to release my stuff but uh, like I said I'm I don't plan on it I have no desire to uh, there's no reason to release anything for me so um, I mean I just have no desire to I've released mods in the past and they, you know, get uploaded to places that I don't upload them. They get, you know, people don't like this, they don't like that. Well, I made the mod the way that I wanted to. Made it to my standards. Made it, you know, function like I want it to. People don't like that. They don't need to download it. I mean, if there's issues with it, you know, errors, that kind of thing. Then, yeah, you know, makes sense to say something about it, but... If it just because it don't work the way that you want it to, that don't mean shit. I mean, you know, I make my stuff to work how I want it to work. I make it look how I want it to look. You know, I make what I want how I want, basically. And, uh, just don't see a reason to share it. I mean, there's a lot of other people that are that same way now. That's just kind of how the community is now. There's, you know, a lot of people that think they're entitled to everything, and uh, a lot of people that just, you know, they want everything the way they want it, and if somebody don't make it that way, or they don't make what that person wants, everybody's, you know, everybody else is just worthless, dumb. You know, all this and that. I was just seeing pictures in Facebook groups of conversations with someone that actually does YouTube videos of him, you know, getting told he can't have something and just throwing a little fit, acting like a little freaking toddler or something, you know, that doesn't get a treat that they want or a toy they want or something or anything they want, really. You know, and it's just pathetic. I mean, you got grown ass adults on here that play this game and they sit and whine and bitch about as bad as a kid does I mean you know I have a kid and my kid doesn't even whine and bitch that much you know because you know she's actually disciplined about that shit unlike a lot of these people nowadays where yeah, you can tell they uh, grew up in a house where spankings weren't believed or something. I mean, there's so many people. You know, I'm going to get hate for this, I'm sure. I really honestly don't give a shit. But, I mean, there's just a lot of people out there that think that they're entitled to everything. That think they should always have their way. Think they should get what they want. And let me tell you, life don't fucking work that way. At all. Life don't work that way, and neither does fucking Farm Sim. I mean, this person 
you know, using racial slurs on somebody just because they wouldn't give them a mod? Like, come on, that's fucking pathetic. You know, calling someone the N-word just because they won't give you something? You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, that's the reason why people don't release mods. That's a damn good reason why I ain't releasing anything of mine. I mean, it's just... It's fucking pathetic. That's all there is to it. Straight up. You know, there's so many pathetic people. And it's like, you know, just grow the hell up and get over yourself. Like, you know, this person isn't going to share it. Big freaking whoop de doo dah You know, and this person, they claim to be some big time modder or something. Yet, you know, okay. They don't want to give it to you, so go make your own. You know? Like, that's simple. If you're some modder or editor or whatever the hell you claim to be, make your own. Like, it's simple, you know. Like, there's there's stuff that, you know, other people have made that, yeah, I would love to have it, you know. Like, for example, Able Modding. He's got, you know, he made all the equipment that they run on his farm. He made a map of his farm you know I mean yeah I would absolutely love to have all of Abel's stuff you know I mean Abel's from North Dakota where I'm from um, I mean I familiar with the area that he's from so yeah I would absolutely love to have his map I would love to have his mods but Abel doesn't release stuff Abel doesn't give stuff out okay I'm not going to sit, you know, and whine and bitch and call him names and this and that just because I can't have his stuff. I'm not going to ask him for his stuff either because it's his mods. If he wanted to share them, he would. If he doesn't want to, he don't have to. You know, he made them. He put the time into making them. He put the effort into it. You know, they're his. If he don't want to share them, he don't have to. And that's how I am too. If I edit it, if I make it, if I put it together, you know, anything. It's my work. If I don't want to share it, I don't have to. And I won't. You know, but there's people, you know, let's say they were the same way I am. They want all the able stuff. Okay. There's some people like me where, okay, it's his. I ain't going to ask for it. If he wanted to share it, he would. And you got the people out there where, you know, Oh, well, he should be sharing this. You know, he made it. He can't keep that to himself or that throw a fit if, you know, they don't get to have it. You know, it's, and it's, it's pathetic. And I mean, I know I'm kind of ranting, but it's just, you know, that's how it is nowadays. You know, back in FS13, there wasn't really a whole lot of that. And we are empty. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna go fill this guy back up with some more fertilizer. But um, you know, like I was saying, back in FS13, you didn't see a whole lot of that. Towards the end of FS13, towards when FS15 came out, you start seeing more and more of that. More people hacking other people's stuff. You know, and that's one of the biggest things. You know, like there's a page out there that you know they take mods. You know, I mean, there's multiple pages, I'm sure. But, you know, there's people out there that they will take someone else's mod, and they'll hack it apart, they'll do stuff to it, and then they'll release it without asking permission. They won't put the original credits in there to credit the original creator. You know, they just claim it as theirs. You know, and half the time it's something simple as adding, you know, let's say it's a pickup. Somebody adds a light bar, changes the color of it, changes the wheels, now it's theirs all of a sudden you know what how do that, you know how does that work like that just that makes zero sense you know and that's that's not how it works but you know a lot of people seem to think that that's how it works nowadays and it's downright pathetic And, you know, just as games have gone on, it's gotten worse and worse. 
I mean, it just, it continuously gets worse, too. Oops. Uh, and, I mean, it's just, it's never going to change. That's how this is now, and... selection on the square so I'm just gonna fill only the Demco tanks for now because we don't have a whole lot left to spray and I don't want to have a whole lot of leftover fertilizer um, so yeah I mean I have released mods in the past uh, I released my Meridian fuel trailer that I made uh, which I actually have that and I might uh, might look into getting it put into 19 maybe I don't know the model wasn't that great because I mean that's back when I was first starting to learn modeling so the model isn't all that great um, I've got the Chevy K30 that I did which that one I am gonna put into 19 for sure and then I've got the small and large John Deere stack movers those are the first two models I ever did so those models are garbage those things are just junk. Uh, what else? Oh, I had a Mighty Handy Cake Feeder that I made. Uh, I made it, you know, I replicated the one that we have at the farm. Um, you know, and those are all things that I've released in the past. You know, I mean, granted, this was a long time ago, but, you know, since then, I just haven't really... You know, I haven't released anything else. Um, I haven't really done a whole lot of other projects since the K30 either, so. That K30 was kind of one of my last projects that I've done. Aside from making the, she the uh, Chevy GMC grain truck, whichever it is. Uh, you know, besides doing that uh, and making it look like my grandpa's truck uh, my great grandpa's old grain truck that he had that's really about it Yeah, I mean, I know, like, Serious Mods, he's stopped releasing stuff, too. Just because, uh, I mean, he's tired, tired of the community, too. And that's how a lot of people are now. You know, there's a lot of people that have stopped releasing, um, or have just, you know, left the community and completely, you know, you just don't hear from him anymore. You know, like Doc Elock, uh, the guy that made the Modern American Farming maps uh, back in FS13. Awesome freaking maps. You know, very well done. He was a very good mapper, very good modeler. He just got tired of the community and he just left. You know, I mean, that's how a lot of these guys are now. You know, they just... They have no desire to do it anymore. You know, they probably, you know, a lot of them still do it. They just do it in private. You know, they they aren't around anymore. You don't hear from them. Nothing. You don't see their work anymore. You know, they've just stopped. And you know, that's what a lot of people have done because they're just tired of how it is now. And it is, it is, it's frustrating, you know. And there's, you know, it's frustrating for people that, you know, you know, like I've seen modders, they're working on something cool, okay. Their plan is to release it. And then all of a sudden somebody comes along and ruins that. Or, you know, more than one person. And they ruin it. And it's, you know, it's kind of frustrating because you got... All these people that are excited for it, 
and then somebody has to come along and just fuck it up for everybody and it's it's really old you know it's it's frustrating for everybody you know and not even just modders you know it's frustrating for just players in general because they can't you know they can't get good stuff anymore because the people that make the good stuff have stopped because they just they don't care anymore you know because the community just doesn't care anymore and that's what's sad you know it it definitely sucks to see how everything has got how shitty everything's gotten you know since FS13 like you sit and you look back at FS13 FS13 had shit loads of good American mods because that's where you know that's when there were all the good modders that were releasing good mods you know and then you get into FS15 right at the start of FS15 a lot of guys started leaving a lot of them because the communities just started going to shit right at the end of FS13 right when 15 came out it just went to shit and you know it's sad to see you know there's a lot of mods from FS13 you know and I just recently found my external hard drive that's where I've got all my FS13 and all my FS15 mods there's a lot of good good mods in FS13 you know and a lot of them I want to try taking the model and you know redoing the model putting it in 19 because you know that's when mods were actually decent you know that were getting released you know not not saying that you know none of the mods nowadays getting released aren't decent you know there's a lot of decent mods that are out for 19 and you know in the works for 19 to be coming out you know there's a lot of good stuff in 19 but you know it, it's who huh. um, you know it's just the fact that a lot of the stuff back in 13 was you know I mean of course if you take a 13 mod and compare it to a 19 mod the 13 mods gonna seem like garbage because the quality of the mods has you know gone has gotten so much better since FS 13 but it's just like you know how things were done you know what I mean like you look at the John Deere 568 round baler from FS 13 or not 568 the um, 864 premium I think it is um, you know it's here in 19 but it's nowhere near as good of a mod as it was back in 13 back when you know if you went too fast it plugged and you had to stop back up hit a button to unplug it you know you use net wrap and you'd have to buy pallets of net wrap you'd have to fill it when it ran out you know I mean now here in 19 that baler all it is you know it's just like every other baler now you know it works just like every baler and you know I mean it kind of sucks but it would definitely be nice to see that 864 be the way that it used to that would be really really cool or for somebody to add that to like the 568 round baler um, you know that'd be that'd be a pretty cool bud huh, excuse me Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm not saying I'm, you know, a half a shit modder at all. I mean, I haven't made a model in years. I haven't in-gamed a mod in years. You know, I've tried a couple map projects, but I've never finished them. You know, I mean, I'm starting the one now for here in 19, you know, this Wheatland Farms map. You know, maybe that one might actually get done. Who knows? You know, a lot of the time it just ends up either something goes corrupt in it and I just don't feel like redoing it. 
or huh. or um, you know I just lose interest in it and decide to give up or you know something else but this one we may actually see finished who knows uh, I would like to finish it that's for sure but um, so guys what I'm gonna do uh, the timer just went off so we hit the end of the video what I'm gonna do is I will finish spraying this field off camera there's not a whole lot left of it uh, so we'll just get this field out of the way and then I'll get uh, the liquid fertilizer emptied out of this get it filled up with herbicide instead and then um, I'll get it moved over to our wheat fields and then when we come back tomorrow we will be working on spraying herbicide on uh, the we'll start on the wheat ground and then we'll move on to soybeans and sunflowers so we probably got another I'd say three four days worth of spraying uh, videos to go so cuz I mean we can get all of the wheat sprayed in one video I know because uh, we've done that uh, the soybeans will probably take a video it'll take a video for sure we may have to go into another video to finish it sunflowers is gonna be about the same way as the uh, soybeans you know where it should take a video maybe video and a half to uh, spray all of it so well, that's gonna do it for today guys if you enjoyed the video be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel be sure to subscribe if you like what you see make sure to turn on the post notifications if you have not already uh, to be notified every time I upload a new video be sure to check out down below in the description where you will find my PC specs my upload schedule as well as all of my social medias and links to some other cool YouTube channels that are worth taking a look at thanks for watching you guys and as always we'll see y'all tomorrow